It's 3.20 in the morning. Dude, we are on our way to Japan. We always had dreams of one day we would be on tour and that we would go to Japan and just like, just take it over, you know? We didn't fade Japan. And here we are, f***ing 35 years old. We're doing it. I'm kind of intrigued to find out if there actually are ninjas out there. And remember, why two Japanese people can't make white babies? Because two wongs don't make a white. I think that's Chinese. I don't think wong is Japanese. <laughs> but it may go over well. Just a little uh, information on how to speak the language. Basta mi nuru e wa to the bus station. We suck. Oh, here's something that we might need to say. Please, may I have a coat hanger? <laughs> what? Hanger. I don't think we're gonna need that. All right. Well, London last year was really cool, but if I don't get culture shock from Japan, then I'm ruined. You know, this whole Earth has been globalized, and there's nothing new to see. All right. I can't wait to watch this guy attempt to throw my luggage on. See how it pans out. I mean, that case is heavy. I think he's saving it for last. Well, it's the next thing, so here we go. Can he do it? Oh boy. Oh, jeez. That's terrible. Shinjuku? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, where do we go? getting a shot I believe it was a strip club and the front of it had this crazy almost like anime cartoon in front so I was just getting a shot of that I thought it was interesting for whatever reason but then another guy some strange guy jumped in front of my camera and started unzipping his pants and I'm just like okay whatever maybe he wants us to go into this place whatever and it looks like he's gonna do that silly trick where you kind of stick your finger through the zipper you know ha ha kind of thing only what he pulls out is not his finger. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we've been walking around all day and I'm a little aggravated now because I'm like dehydrated. I really need something to drink. So I went to the store. So I got two of these thinking, oh cool, I can tell it's grape and it's Fanta. They're nice and cold, so I'll just chug these. Jelly. It's this sugary like candy jelly for kids. This thing's full. Come on. It's like sludge. It's like jelly or something. That's pretty gross. Ugh. And uh, it's definitely not quenching my thirst, so I'm going to bed thirsty. That's all I have to say. Good night. Alright, so here we are, of course, ever investigating toilets from different countries. 
Uh, this Japanese one is pretty uh, high-tech. In addition to just being a regular toilet, the handle's over here. There's some added comfort things going on here with the warm seat on and off, which is kind of nice. Not sure exactly what the standby is. That's probably for getting the seat warm and stuff. There's the water pressure here, which can go up and down. There's a bidet, which, uh, well, we won't get into exactly what that cleans. But then <laughs> next to this, there is what appears to be a butt spray. And then right here, there's the bright orange emergency stop button. I'm just curious. I've never seen a bidet, and I've certainly never seen a butt spray, and I'm just curious how these work. So I don't know if I, there needs, I guess the pressure needs to go on here. I'm scared. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, well there's the, uh, there's the bidet. And, uh, let me push the emergency stop button. And real quick, just because I gotta see the butt spray. There's this little thing. Oh, Jesus. Now that will clean, that'll clean your butt real quick. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Alright, stop. So there you have it, Japanese technology working for you. Don't sleep with her, stop STD. She's like, oh my god. A lot of people want to know where Darth Vader stays when he's here in Japan visiting. So I want to show you, that's Darth Vader's pimp hotel. He stays in the penthouse suite. You can see way in the top, that's where the Emperor visits him. So Matt, how are your black balls? Very delicious. You know what they say, once you go black, you never go back. Well, you know what else they say, once you go Asian, you never go Caucasian. We're looking for these hearts. I want to know where all the love is in Shibuya. All these stars, I think these are nightclubs. The microphone's got to be karaoke. I want to know where all the love is in Tokyo, so we're going to go to this area where all the hearts are. What, what are we going to find there? Just happiness and love and bonding. Let's go check it out. Yeah, how do we, yeah, how do we get there? Do we go this way? Hanem. Yeah. I uh, know, we want to get to where the hearts are. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Hi. Yeah, aren't we, aren't we here, aren't we, like, in here or something? We came this way, yeah. Oh, Maxi. Here, let me take a look.